Hey, hi, hello, my friends. It's Christy with Orion Junk Journals, and this is Sunday, uh, May the 14th. It's Mother's Day, um, and I am here this evening to do um, my uh, designer spotlight with you. Um, I've been trying to get this done for weeks, um, but with everything that's kind of been going on the last few weeks, I haven't been able to do a designer spotlight in a while. So we're going to try and get back on every Sunday, um, make that our regular routine, um, trying to get my regular routines going again. Um, and so designer spotlight is one of those. And so, um, yeah, I'm excited to, to, uh, Sorry, I'm putting some lotion on my hands. If it's a little noisy, that's fine. Um, so I'm excited to, um, you know, kind of, of look at some awesome Etsy designers with all of you. Um, see what we can do with some of their products that have caught my eye. Um, now, this one I purchased. Um, if you are a designer and you would like me to spotlight your design, um, you know, I know there are much bigger channels out there. Um, there are some really, really awesome channels out there. Um, and so I know that you have a lot of options. Um, but um, but if you would like me to spotlight your channel, I'm happy to do that. Um, just let me know and, uh, you know, send me an email to 4amjumpjournals at gmail.com. And... Um, let me know what we can do. We can help each other, right? Okay. Now, this particular design is called Tea Party, and it's from Secret Helper on Etsy. Um, again, I purchased this. This wasn't one I've talked to the designer about or anything. I just saw it, loved it, purchased it, and now I wanted to share it. Um, okay. So, first, from Secret Helper on Etsy, and I will drop that link. Um, this is Tea Time, and as you can see, there are some beautiful, beautiful things going on on these pages. Um, so, these would be ones that were trimmed around, um, folded in half to go into a journal like that. Um, of course, we all know the great thing about... Um, digitals is that we don't have to worry about well if I use this page I won't have it for my journal because we can just reprint them. <laughs> um, I absolutely love this page. We're, we're, we're just gonna go back to this okay. Um, anyway I really love this paper. I think this is beautiful. <clears throat> and then this is really cool. Okay, and so then we've got a little pocket, we've got a corner tuck, we've got some little teacups, a couple of little tags, some little circles with like cakes and stuff on them. I had a um, Mother's Day tea with my residents at work today, and it was so much fun. And so we're going to start trying to do that, you know, a little more regularly, like a tea of some sort, not necessarily a Mother's Day tea, but just kind of tea and coffee with the residents. It was fun. Um, and then we've got these teacups and some pretty, um, what do we call these? Well, I would use them as belly bands, but I can't think what these would be called. But anyway, then we've got a teapot and then this cup with the flowers in it. Um, this one's going to fold up into a little envelope. Um, and I, what I did was the ones that were going to fold like that, I printed those on, um, like regular copy paper as well as this, uh, the pages for the journal itself and all of the ephemera pieces I printed on cardstock and then we've got these tags which are really cool um, these little ephemera pieces here and then some words we have teapot afternoon tea sip drink um, I love the postcards I think those are super cool um, and then we've got another tag here and here. And then we've got some tickets, um, which are really awesome as well. So, yeah, um, I think that was everything in the kit, in the journal, um, 
in the Etsy purchase. I think that was everything that came in it. Um, I think I printed everything. I'm pretty sure I did. But um, anyway, it's been some time since I printed it because, like I said, I've been trying to do this for a while. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. <sighs> but I just finally got to um, know where I can kind of do it. So I thought what we might do is let's go ahead and make this envelope. That'll be a good start. Um, and then we might trim around these and put together the pages and just sort of decorate them with some of this ephemera and see what we might want to do with it. Now we can either do that or I can um, do a... Now let's, let's do that. Let's just see um, if we can put together kind of a small one signature journal um you know not entirely just let like let's put this together um i know that's not a real exciting video putting together something that's already pretty much you know outlined or whatever but um but i really want to play with some of this and i'm really thinking that it's going to make a lovely journal um I have someone in mind that I'd like to um, possibly make one and give to them. Not necessarily this one, we'll see, um, but I, I do have something in mind, and so, um, yeah. So... <laughs> I was I, I left work or I left home at um, shortly after twelve. Is that right? Um, maybe twelve thirty. I think it was about 12.30 I left the house today. And um, the tea was scheduled for 3 o'clock, but um, uh, sorry, trying to think and do it at the same time. The tea was scheduled for 3 o'clock, but I had to go to my mother's to pick up a tea kettle because I didn't have a tea kettle for work. Which I guess I'm going to get one if we're going to start doing it more regularly. But anyway, so um, I went by mom's, or I was going to go by mom's. So I left the house early, or left the house early, um, so that I could go to the store and get the stuff that we needed uh, for the tea, and go um, by my mom's. And pick up the tea kettle and plus you know it's Mother's Day and so I didn't want her to feel totally abandoned on Mother's Day right um, so I mean that sounded bad I don't want her to feel ban abandoned at all but I felt really bad about not being able to um, you know hang with her today and so I just wanted her to know I was thinking of her and so I went to the grocery store and um, I had already thought, you know, I'm going to see if I can find, because I had picked her up something that, not a gift, um, because the gift I had in mind for her I was going to make, but I had picked her up something at a um, estate sale, because um, she loves crocheted dolls, and it's a very nostalgic thing, and um, so I wanted to get her this, this um, crocheted doll I found at this estate sale and I got it for virtually nothing. I think I talked about that in the um, haul that I did for that that weekend. Anyway and uh, so I was going to drop that off to her. So before I left the house I had um, gone to pick it up and you know I, I already knew it needed to be cleaned but I hadn't realized when I picked it up, there were like dead bugs in it. And I was like, mm, no. 
I don't I don't think there were any alive. I think they were all dead, but I was like, mm, no, no, we're not doing this. Um, and so I threw it away, which, you know, I wasn't happy about, but yeah, she would not have been happy. <laughs> so, um, so I threw that away and, um, so anyway, I went to the store and I was like, well, I still want to take her something because I don't have her gift, you know, I didn't get to get her gift done because freaking state in the building. And so, um, so I picked her up a candy bouquet while I was at the grocery store. And I picked up some tea and some, uh, you know, like uh, celestial teas and um, uh, some of the like bread, like the cinnamon swirl and the lemon and the, uh, I think there was a strawberry and a chocolate and Something else. I don't remember. Oh, banana nut. So I picked all that up. I'm like, well, this will make a good um, just like that, right? Is that right? like that yes yes so anyway so I was like well this will make a good you know like um, treat for the residents and then I also picked up some strawberries because yeah we needed strawberries and so um, so I go to head that that way and um, when I get to the highway, because normally I drive the back roads, but in order to go to my mom's and get the teapot or the tea kettle, I needed to go the highway. So <laughs> I know it's taken me a long time to get to this story, isn't it? So, um, when I get to the on-ramp to the highway, the police are walking up. Well, I'd already noticed there was an unusual amount of traffic turning onto this little bitty back road, um, you know, in the middle of nowhere. And so I'd already thought, well, something was funky. But anyway, so I get up there and the police are blocking the highway entrance. So can't go up on the highway. Obviously there was some kind of an accident or something, right? So I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. I'll go up to the um, the road that goes right through my mom's town. So, you know, it's not a problem. I can take it on into her town. Well, go up there. Not a problem so far. I turn onto the road, start down the road, and I notice that traffic is stalled. And all of the vehicles from the highway are coming up, all those big semi trucks and everything are coming up and turning onto the road that I'm on. So, in this little bitty town, in this little backwoods dang road, um, okay, maybe not quite backwoods, but you know what I mean. This little bitty nothing, whatever. I'm in a traffic jam where nothing is moving. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, why today? So I called my mom and I'm like, oh, mom, guess where I'm at? <laughs> so finally, um, I managed to get past that road that all of the highway traffic is turning off of. 
Uh, and once I got past that intersection, traffic was running fine again, and I got to my mom's very quickly after that. But that was so funny and frustrating at the same time. It was like, wow, there just should not be this kind of traffic on this road. And uh, so... Anyway, so then I got into, I, I, I was going to stop at Starbucks, and I was like, well, now I'm late, so um, there's not going to be Starbucks in my future. So I, uh, you know, stopped at my mom's, I gave her her bouquet, and I picked up the um, tea kettle, and then um I had to drive, you know, from my, the town where my mom lives into the town where I work. And so, um, so there's a little dollar, uh, family dollar slash dollar tree um, right off the highway in the town where I work. So I stopped and um, picked up with a little tablecloth and some uh, paper plates and napkins and silverware and um, some little boxes to pour some candy into that I got at the store um, for the residents and a couple, you know, some little trays to put like um, uh, the strawberries and the bread on and stuff. So I did all that. Then I got to the facility, and hold on just a second. I am thinking that I just want to borrow this paper here, dude. Um, I'm thinking that I want to ink around this, so let's go ahead and do that while we're um, talking and and doing. So I got to the facility and, you know, I called ahead, I called from my mom's and I, I just asked our DON, I said, can you just remind them that we are in fact having this tea so that, you know, everybody's kind of up out of bed and ready and, um, and we have, I thought 18 female residents, um, but uh, so my kitchen manager had gone out of her way to go to the uh, flor florist for me and uh, pick up some carnations for each of the female residents because um, I had mentioned wanting to get them carnations and she was like, so she calls me and she's like, I'm at the florist and they're going to close soon and do you want me to get these? And this was on Friday. And I was like, yes, yes, please. And so she gets them. And, uh, um, which was a funny story in and of itself, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So, so I go in there and I'm trying to set everything up and, um, you know, people are slowly starting to trickle in there. Are you ready yet? Are you ready yet? No, I'm not ready yet. It's not three o'clock yet. <laughs> um, and so... No, we're not going to do that. But I do think we'll go ahead and ink this because I think we're going to use this in this journal. Um, and so then, of course, I've got the guys in there. And I've got one guy going, oh, this is for a girl or for the women. We're, we need to go. <laughs> I'm like, it's okay, you just need to sit down over there. And so um, so they sat down in the living room part and we have we have like a, a big table um, in one part of that room and then in the other part there's like a TV and a um, you know and recliners and that sort of or not recliners but like uh, armchairs and that sort of thing. So they were sitting over in the living room space and I was setting the women's stuff up like over in the um, in the main area. So, um, so then I had my kitchen people helping me, and I've really got to my kitchen manager, my dietary manager, I've really got to get her something 
um, to thank her for everything she did. And our dietary cook, who used to be like my um, assistant in activities for like a half a minute, she was. Um, I've got to get both of them something um, to thank them for. They worked so um, so hard for me all the time. I mean, they're such wonderful, wonderful women. And they worked so hard for me. And um, so I need to get them something. But anyway, so they were helping me put stuff together, you know, like as far as um, putting things on trays. And they brewed me some coffee and um, for the residents who don't particularly care for tea. And um, Anyway, it was just really nice. And so then we did our tea thing, and I took um, flowers and plates to those residents who either couldn't or didn't choose to get up and come into the party. And uh, And then I was out of there, but I was only there a couple of hours, all told. I mean, I was away from home longer than that because it was the whole driving disaster. Oh, oh, I, that's what I was going to tell you, was when I got to the town where I work, um, there was a big old semi-truck on its side, on the side of the highway, all kind of mangled up. And I thought, well, I guess I know why we were held up. And so I was at work, and I was talking, to, and they were saying that it was a huge accident. A couple of people died, and, um, you know, just, I mean, it was really bad. And, um, but my husband was saying, when I got home and was telling him, he said that that must have been a separate accident. He said, because um, the one... That where the people died that was holding up the traffic and everything was um, many, many miles down the road uh, between where we live and where my mom lives, which I already kind of figured since, um, or what I had originally figured since that's where I got into trouble traffic-wise. But, so apparently there were two. So there was the one that caused the traffic jam, and then there was the one over by the town where I work. It was awful. But anyway. So now for the rest of this month, let's see. So Friday of this week, um, this coming Friday, we will have a margarita party for the residents. We're going to have tacos and margaritas. Um, and then on well, okay, so on Thursday I have a, um, a staff meeting. And in that staff meeting um, we're going to have like a little party. And so we're, we're going to do kind of like a brunch, and um, uh, hang on just a second. Uh, I have a drink. So we're going to do a brunch, and anybody who wears a hat is going to be entered into a drawing to win a prize, and it's like the sillier your hat is, the better, right? Um, and so, um, and then I'm going to do a couple of games, um, you know, just little, little some things. I don't know exactly what just yet. I'm, I'm still thinking on that. Um, but some kind of little games that will have prizes. Um, and so we're going to do that. And then Friday will be our margarita party. So margaritas and tacos for the residents. Um, and then 
um, the following week on Friday, we have the resident birthday party. And then on Saturday, we're having a cakewalk. Now, I've got to get started planning that cakewalk because I need to get the word out to the community um, and also get in touch with the hospice people and um, maybe some churches and stuff and see if they want to donate um, cakes or baked goods for the event. Um, or, you know, something for the residents or whatever they want to do. So, um, yeah. And I, I'm going to ask all the department heads to bring a cake of some sort um, or a baked good of some sort as well for that. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot going on this month for me at work. Um, and on top of that, trying to keep up with my HR and business office stuff, which my corporate people are going to be back. Um, on Monday because of state being in the building. Um, yesterday we had our vice president in the building and um, she's going to be back on Monday, well tomorrow, with uh, my immediate boss at corporate, uh, you know, the, uh, the corporate HR. Um, a supervisor or whatever, director or whatever. I'm, I'm not sure what her exact title is, but anyway, she'll be there. And I'm sure State will be back again. So, I don't think they've closed out yet. So... It's just, and I'm still waiting for my grade in my second class. Um, I believe I'm going to finish both classes with a B, but um, which isn't ideal. You know, I much prefer my A's that I was used to, but the way this semester went, I will take my B's and be so happy with them because it was a semester to beat all semesters. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll take I'll take those bees. Mm -hmm. I will, I'll take them. So but I guarantee you when I do get some time off, I'm gonna be ready for it. I need some time where it's like, okay, you're off work and you don't have to worry about schoolwork. That's what I need. So, right now my paycheck just needs me to be at work. As much work as I missed. Because that was like, wow. A lot. So, all right, we've got those trimmed up finally, and you guys are going good because I'm sick of listening to your story. <laughs> but we finally got them trimmed up. Now let's take a look and see. Um, I'm going to fold these in half. I'd meant to set a timer to make sure we didn't go too far over, like an hour, because um, because it's ridiculous to ask you guys to watch a video that's too much over an hour. Um, so I'd meant to set a timer so I'd know when to quit, but guess what I didn't do? Of course not. Of course I didn't set the timer. I forgot to fill mine and my son's medications so that we could take our meds today. I've got to make sure I do that tonight. I've got laundry going because I had no clean clothes for tomorrow. 
There's, guys, I have so much going on. Oh, goodness. And naturally, I'm yawning. I'm not tired. I took a two-hour nap, so that's what happened was I was like, I came home from work. I got home about shortly before five or right around five. And um, my husband had made dinner for me for Mother's Day. And he always cooks dinner, but he had tried to make a special dinner for me for Mother's Day, which was really super sweet. And so um, we ate dinner, and I had pulled a wine cooler out with every intention of enjoying a wine cooler with my dinner. And before I could even crack it open, I was falling asleep. And so we were in the middle of watching a, um, because we don't, sometimes we do the whole table thing, but usually we just eat, you know, like, um, at our little, like, sofa tables and, um, watch an episode of our shows or something while, you know, because I don't, uh, sit in there and watch TV very often, so that's like a, kind of our opportunity. And so, um, so I finished that episode with him. We're, we're uh, re-watching Criminal Minds on Netflix. So um, I finished that episode with him, and I was like, I, I am just, I'm exhausted. And he was too. And it was like 6 o'clock. And I said, I'm going to go take a half an hour nap. And he's like, okay, well, I'm going to go to bed. Because he gets up really early. I get up really early in the morning, but I tolerate it much better than he does. But he gets up really early in the morning because he has to work. Um, now he always comes home and takes a nap, but he just doesn't. He just he doesn't have it the capability of um, handling, you know, the lack of sleep. It's just not his. He he can't do it. Um, and so. Um, So we both went in and laid down. Well, ugh, excuse me again. I was going to take a half hour nap. And um, that was at 6 o'clock or maybe just a couple of minutes after 6 o'clock. And I woke up around 8.05. So <laughs> my half hour nap stretched a little bit. All that to say, I'm really not sleepy. But at the same time, I can't seem to stop yawning. So, all right. So we've got those pages put together, right? And um, if we just kind of flip through it. It's so pretty. And on, an, on a separate video, we're going to talk about how to deal with these white pages, which, you know, those of you who have been journaling for a while, you have lots of, of knowledge of how to deal with those white pages. Um, but some of the new people really uh, struggle with that or, you know, just need some uh, fresh ideas or whatever. Um, and so, I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out where to put that. Um, and so... Um, We'll talk about that, but we'll probably do that in a separate video. For right now, I just kind of wanted to get that put together. And so, I'm going to put these with it. Um, let's go ahead and work with these. So, uh, I want to get some smaller scissors, though. this is probably not the most exciting video in the world for you guys um, being as it's really just putting together the uh, pieces pretty much as they are um, but I needed to do it and I wanted you guys to see this amazingly beautiful kit 
um, from, um, oh, crud, what did I say her name was? Uh, Secret Helper on Etsy. Um, because, yeah, those of you who like to make tea time journals need this kit, right? Right, maybe. I don't know. Do you need the kit? If you do, go get it. <laughs> I like to help out the designers, and I like to um, play with the with the pretties. So um, this is a win-win for me. I'm going to set those to the side. So, yeah. I don't really know what to do with these little circles just yet. We'll figure that out. I think for right now I'm going to cut them out and ink them and put them into that little pocket that we made. Um, or something. I don't know. Oh. By now, y'all are probably sitting there going, we no longer believe you that you're not tired. I'm really not, though. My husband will always say, all that means is that your brain needs oxygen. Okay, dear. My brain always seems to need oxygen when I am tired. <laughs> However, I'm really not. I just have the yarns. Now, if I wanted to be tired, like, because I do sometimes suffer from insomnia. And the one thing that will knock me out every time, oh, shoot, is just drinking a wine cooler. I just need one, and um, I'll be falling asleep. Also, the other thing is that I have sleep apnea. And so if I go in and I just lay down and put on my... Um, CPAP mask, I will be falling asleep in minutes. Um, so while I have trouble staying asleep, going to sleep is usually not a problem. If I want to stay asleep, then a wine cooler or um, a dose of Benadryl will usually do it. I just don't like doing that because then I feel really groggy. So... I'm trying my new camera again. I hope that, because we had that one uh, video that I recorded recently where it was just terrible, terrible uh, quality. And I'm hoping that this is okay this time. Um, the one thing I did was I moved my lights. So I've got two lights, and I had, you know, one on each side of me, but they were kind of far back. Um, I mean, not really far back, but kind of far back. And um, so what I did was I uh, – I'll fold that in a minute. I moved them so, like, directly over my desk. Um, and I'm hoping that it helps with the lighting – um, and that it doesn't make the quality worse than it was. You know, because you can have too much light as well as not enough light. You can have the wrong kinds of light. It was just, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not good with all that lighting stuff. I just play with the lighting until I find something that seems to work. And um, then I say, yay, look, I found something that seems to work. But I like this camera because while my um, phone consistently takes good videos, um, I do have to fight a lot with, like, making sure I'm in frame. Whereas this camera will, like, pick up everything, like, anywhere around. And um, so, which is both good and bad. I always have to trim it down because... 
Otherwise, you can see my entire nasty, messy desk. Or you can see, you know, me. And um, so I trim that down where all you're seeing is what I want you to see. And um, especially when I'm jammy crafting, <laughs> like right now. Um, so... Uh, but anyway, so that's the, the reason I wanted to use this camera instead of my um, phone tonight was so that I could get, you know, I could be sure that I would be in frame. Because I, I hate fighting with that. Because then even if you get in frame, if you move something accidentally or, you know, it's like a whole mess. Whereas with this camera, it's like, yeah, we're fine. We're going to be in frame if we're anywhere in the room. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Not quite that much, but. Okay, guys, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me cut everything out. Because I'm sure that by now you're going, I think i got better things to do. Although, you can always just play me in the background, oops, um, and listen to me yak while you do your own thing. Um, I do that a lot. I, I mean, like, I'll put, I will put a video up on my TV and um, just listen to my favorite YouTubers talk as they craft. Um, while I do mine, and then if they if they say something that makes me think, oh, I need to see that, I can always rewind, you know. So then, like all of a sudden, I'll pay attention, and then I'll rewind if I need to. But um, I'm not likely to say anything earth shattering, so you know. Um, just a thought. If you want to, if you want to. So the only thing, oh, I'm so sorry. The only thing about this is that um, oh, I don't know where I put it. Oh, that's interesting. I have a scoreboard, but I, I guess I don't know where it is. Um is that I printed this page on cardstock and so um, normally I would have preferred to have done the pocket um, you know like on paperweight but it's fine it'll be fine um, it'll just be a more sturdy pocket is all There we go, perfect. Um, sorry. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's go ahead and ink this puppy. Let's ink this puppy. Hello, puppy. Let's ink you. This designer has made such pretty, um, such pretty designs, but she's also got such a great idea, you know, like, um, I'm working on my first digital, and I know there are lots of designers, probably most designers do this, where they have, like, the pockets and stuff already laid out and what it, what have you, and um, like this, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet, and um, so I'm working on making my first digital, and I, I don't have a clue how to do all that yet, but 
anyway, I think she did a great job of like designing those where it's like, okay, I want it to look cool. So let's do this and this and this, you know. Ooh, that's interesting. That's going to be way too big for that. I wonder if the whole stinking caboodle just slips right in. Look at that. How cool is that? It just slips right into the whole into the envelope, the whole flipping thing. Oh, goodness, excuse me. Okay. Or alternatively, we can just do like that and clip her in, which I'm sure is what I'm gonna do. But so with this, we can probably not on that page facing that one though. We could come here maybe and do something like that. We could also add a teacup to the top of it. Um, have to think on that and decide what we want to do. I think if I'm going to start doing like regular teas and stuff with my residents, then I might like invest in my own tea kettle for work and um, some nicer teacups. You know. Because we just used their regular old mugs, you know, like their coffee mugs. <sighs> so I'm thinking that what I'll do is I'm going to cut out, you know, like all of these parts, all these various parts, and um, and put together this like um, journal and what I might do is just um, there we got it. I don't know if I'll if I'll find some different papers and probably mix and match them is probably what I'll do but anyway and then we will do something with the backs of these and I'm thinking I'm going to use several of these so I just love these um, We could do them um, as a belly band, like, you know, like that. I could do some smaller ones, and we can do, like, clusters. See, that makes a really cool belly band right there. I'm not going to put it on there yet, though. I'm going to put it into the little envelope. So, yeah, guys. I really um, like this. Um, this digi. Yet. Um, I used to be someone who really didn't like digitals, and it wasn't that I didn't like digitals, it was that I couldn't figure out how the heck are you supposed to afford to print those. So for those of you out there who are saying the same thing I did, how the heck can you afford to print with the cost of ink the way it is, print all that. Um, I'm just going to tell you, HP's Insta Ink. So if you will subscribe, and they will send you ink as yours goes out 
and I'm on the 100 page plan. I'm probably going to bump that up because when I signed up for it, I thought there's no way I'm ever going to print 100 pages in a month, right? Even printing my school stuff, I'm not ever going to print 100 pages in a month. Not true. Once I got started, I was totally addicted and um, I will print like no other. So I'm probably going to bump mine up. But what I was going to say was it's cheap. It's really, really cheap. And then they monitor and they send you out new ink cartridges when you start to get low. And interestingly, whereas I could print 20 pages in the past, and if they were color pages, I was out of ink. With this, I am still using the same ink cartridge, the first one they sent me. And I have printed so much stuff. So much stuff. So just something to keep in mind um, but yeah so if you're sitting there going I don't do digis because I can't afford the ink I would recommend subscribing to HPN Steam just my recommendation for what it's worth which isn't much I know but you know hey you're here I'm here let's talk <laughs> um, alright I don't know how long this video has been going I think it's been a little bit I don't know for sure um, but, yeah, I think we might want to, let's see what time is it, oh yeah, it's after 10, I think we've been going a while, um, so we might want to say, ooh, what a wonderful video this was, and, um, <laughs> I can finish all of this <laughs> at another time. I will probably finish cutting everything out off camera because I know this has not been the most thrilling thing in the world for y'all. Um, so I'll probably finish cutting this out off camera and um, uh, then when I come back we'll talk about, you know, like not in this video, but in another video when I come back, we'll talk about how to handle those white spaces. We'll take a look at kind of where it's at and decide, ooh, what are we going to do next to this really pretty journal? How's that sound? Sound like a plan? Look at that. Hold up before we do. This little corner tuck is going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I've got some lace that we're going to use in this journal. So much lace I've got. Um, it's going to be so pretty. I'm going to have the whole shabby, shabby chic. I think it'll be real pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So if we come in here and we do, like, you know, I want to go to this side. So we'll do something like this. I actually really like that right there. I just don't want to put it on because I want to deal with that white space first. But yeah. All right. Super cool. So for right now, we're going to call this a video, and hopefully you guys will come back and join me again um, for, the, for the next part of this. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful or at the very least entertaining. I hope that you crafted along, and I hope you'll join me again for another video very soon. If you like what you saw today, be sure and give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from this channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you click the little bell, it will notify you every time I upload a new video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're crafting today. Drop me a picture, and I'll talk with all of you again soon. Bye.